Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Danny, to the supporter. Welcome to the new episode of the Aston Villa career mode. This is episode 33. That is a 33 in Espanol. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what is episode 34 in your language as we go into one of the most insane episodes that we've had ahead of us. It is Liverpool, Chelsea, Liverpool. I mean, what? <laughs> And we have two incredibly important games in just a few days. We have Liverpool coming up in the Premier League. Then we have uh, Chelsea coming up in the um, matchup for the FA Cup semi-finals. And if we beat them, we have pretty, won, pretty much won the title there. Unless we pull another Watford from last year. Um, and then we have Liverpool coming up in the Champions League semi-finals twice. Uh, not just once, obviously, twice coming up again. And then we have City and Everton. We're getting into the season finale, lads. It is going uh, um, like at a crazy rate right now. And we are on 59 points. We're outside of the top four, something that I don't want to allow myself to happen. I need my team to finish in the top four to see this season as, an, as a big achievement. We've done it last season. This season, we're struggling with it. And uh, yeah, there's not much time to go. So every single game is a must win. And talking about must win, today is a game against Liverpool, the first place team in the league with 75 points, only 33 goals conceded uh, for their defense. It's going to be a tough one. And if you want to help me out here and if you want me to win these games, please make sure to hit the like button. I beg, I need your help. <laughs> I can't win this by myself. Uh, all right, let's get back into it. Um, let's have the comment right here from Royko Vanyoks. And he says, hey, Johnny, we missed your camera that turns off because I feel bad remembering those memories. Well, Biscuit said, uh, do not worry. I'll be switching his camera off in the editing to make up for it. No, Biscuit, you will not. You will not turn off my camera shut up okay this is my channel i decide what happens you're only the editor so last episode i was uh, worried about why my tactics were not working i was very surprised as to why my tactics were unbalanced and then i remembered as well adam hassan says the reason you don't have your tactics is because you did it in the middle of the game the last time you did it and it only saves it if you do it on the menu you're right i completely forgot the last time we did our tactics that was exactly what we did now in this game today guys we are lacking Jack Grealish because of a red card, uh, because of a ban. And we're also lacking the likes of Konrad Lima because of an injury. And uh, yeah, the last time we played with a um, basically broken team, a team that didn't have all the players, we beat Atletico Madrid. And that was an amazing, amazing result. I was so proud of that one. And we made it through somehow into the Champions League um quarterfinals or is that semi-finals that is quarter right or is it actually it might be semis yeah it is semis oh my god um so yeah it's it's a bit crazy and we have liverpool coming up the strongest team in the league that have beat us 6-2 this season and we have beat them once ourselves so this is now for the bragging rights not only for the bragging rights but for top four let's get into it man i need my team to step up ollie watkins come on man score some goals against this liverpool side please please do so oh ho ollie watkins is the player to watch he has the most assists in the league as you guys have seen right there why is she so, so shocked in the background i'm trying to speak english but it's a tough one uh let's get into it guys liverpool up against aston villa i'm gonna be so focusing big time by the way today's early upload that we'll be having on the channel should be a big video so i hope you guys are looking forward to that one i can't wait i don't know if i can talk about it yet so i won't mention it but there should be another video on the channel today which i hope you guys are going to be enjoying Douglas Luiz, Douglas Luiz getting absolutely ruined by Thiago. Firmino has an opening for Mo Salah. Mo Salah tries to get it past Senesi, but Senesi knows what he's doing. That man is great at defending. Even players with pace now he can cope with. Firmino, and that is ours. Martinez on it straight away. We only have Anthony. Anthony into Watkins. A great ball into our striker. Watkins brings it back into Todd Cantwell on his left foot. Oh my God, Todd. Todd, the coach is not too happy with that one. I personally am happy because that was a great attack from our squad. Ah oh man, it was a close one. Very close from Todd Cantwell. Does he have a five-star weak foot already? 
Or is he even... He's right-footed. Five-star weak foot. Yeah, you could have pulled that off. Liverpool playing around nicely with Salah now looking for Mane. Yesterday, Liverpool obviously played against Ajax. And I was very satisfied with the results. I saw Curtis Jones with an incredible performance in that game. He has done so well. And Neko Williams actually getting an assist, which is going to be big for his confidence because that guy has been lacking confidence lately. I felt bad for him many, many times in the past because I feel like he just isn't ready. Watkins! Oli! Oh my god, Watkins and Catwell missing finesse shots from close. That's not good. Um, but yeah, Liverpool luckily won against Ajax. Very happy with it. But I have to admit, Kelleha, the goalkeeper that had replaced Adrian. What's a performance from him, man? I was so happy to see all these players that have been given the trust of the coach have performed so well. It's going to be very important for the future of the club. What the hell is Firmino doing here? That these players are going to be um, moving forward with lots of confidence and um, gaining more and more and being able to jump into the starting lineup whenever necessary. We have an opening there down the wing. It is going to be Diaby. Don't miss again. Diaby. Oh, Alisson saves it. The positioning there wasn't too good for myself for Diaby's shots. I probably should have put it onto his right foot with the finesse around the keeper, but... We know what happens when Diaby finish, uh, tries to finesse it. We've seen it many, many times. It goes Todd Cantwell. Watkins. 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 Still going strong. Plays it. Diaby. Right foot. Van Dijk. Mate, I can't get past these lads. Diaby. Come on, get in there. Get in there, Watkins. I see you. I see you. It's a goal. No, it isn't. Anthony hits the post and it is actually offside. We're about 41 minutes into the game and we should have scored already, man. We should have scored. We had three big chances so far. Oh, okay. The first chance for Liverpool comes in in the 47th minute. The ref should have blown the whistle already. I don't care if it's a corner for them or not. The whistle should have been blown and it will be blown right now. And we will go into the second half. So only one big chance for Liverpool. Great save for Martinez there. Uh, but we should have been 1-0 up. Now, the issue is Man City is winning their game, and I don't like that because we need Man City to drop points. Hopefully, United can pick up at least one goal there to make it a draw. And our team, in terms of fitness, is looking all right. Ah, perfect. We need, we need Man City to drop points, and we need to win this game to be able to regain some ground against them. They are our opponents when it comes to the top four right now, which, again, is an incredible team to try and beat for top four. I don't really have too many options. We've got to go with Anthony. Anthony now getting in behind. Anthony has Todd Cantwell in the middle. Todd Cantwell going to bang it on his left. What is going on with my players shooting above the target today, man? What the hell? There goes Diaby. Diaby down the wing. Diaby sees options in his center. Tried to find them. Now he's through. Diaby. Oh, he's too fast. This guy's too fast for himself. He can't control the ball. And yet they're getting subbed on for Liverpool. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yabi, I'm making a manual run here with Yabi. And it has worked out just about perfect. Todd Cantwell. What? Oh, mate. I'm sorry, but Cantwell, bro, you, you're done here. You're done, out, you're done out here, man. This is this is not good enough. We're taking him off right now. I, I'm, I'm slowly getting angry about him and his finishing. Amangituka goes tap. Watkins drops into Cam. Uh, Madueke comes on down the left-hand side. And then we'll also bring on... Ferguson, who has done really well in the last few games in that CDM position alongside Douglas Luiz. Oh, Cantwell, bro. It's just not good enough. You have time until the ball goes out to get a goal in. But yeah, this has been a disappointing game from you, man. Andueke, the team is pushing. The team is pushing hard to get the ball under control. And we might just do so here. Down the wings. Yes, we do. And a great ball into Watkins. Here we go. This could be the chance to score. Van Dijk and the boys are not in position. What am I doing wrong? I, I, I haven't changed anything about how I take my shots, how I do anything. The shot power, anything. Why am I missing the target all the time, man? What the hell is going on? I need to see this again. I need to see this again. Just to, just to know if I'm doing it wrong or if the game is messing me up here. Because the height... Look, the height of the shot is perfect. This is a perfect shot. Why, why can I change the angle? Please give me the manual angle. Manual angle. Manual. Thank you. All right, so if you take a look at it here, we're aiming perfectly into the top right corner. Perfectly. Five-star weak foot, Ollie Watkins. In that type of position, no pressure on him at all, and he misses the target. Like, what the hell is going on today? Anthony, that's back inside. He has a few options. Ferguson, Pamangituka, Pamangituka, Ferguson. Good pass. Watkins, Watkins in a good spot. 
A deflection off the goalkeeper. Let's take it. Oh, I wanted to take the, the shot so that it lands in front of one of the players in the middle. Obviously, it didn't. 70 seconds now. We have a few more minutes left to get a result out of this game. Nice. Bradaric. Good steal. Here we go. Moving forward with Madweke now. Madweke gets in behind. We have Watkins right there. Ah, oh, Fabinho, great defense. And they do get it away. Senesi steps up and we don't get it back. And we have the likes of Salah, Ben Yedder and Modric moving forward for Liverpool. Uh, they probably like their odds a lot. Konza, it's a huge tackle, Konza. That is a massive, massive tackle. Potentially a game-changing tackle. Senesi and Matty Cash chasing down Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. Senesi. Salah. Mane. Oh my god, they hit the post. They hit the freaking post, lads. There's still a chance for us to win this. Come on, Ferguson. Come on. Yes, good ball over to Anthony. 85th minute. Anthony moves in. Plays it. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, man. I'm definitely not doing the right thing. That's what I can tell you. Do we have one more chance? We might have one last chance here. With the one-twos. Of the players, Watkins, oh, I can't thread the ball through. And that is a nil-nil draw against Liverpool. Ah, it's the league leaders, I get it, but I had so many chances. How did I not score any of these, man? I honestly felt like I was aiming on target with all of these shots. Let's see this one. Was it my mistake? No, it wasn't. It's a perfect shot. It's a five-star week for player. Just getting very close once again. And the same happened with Watkins. Another huge chance wasted in that spot. A finesse shot that you normally expect him to score and he doesn't score. All the shots were on target and they just didn't go on target. Like, what? Uh, it's only a 1-1, one, one, uh, a one-point game. The question now becomes, what has Man City done? They have won 3 0. It's not looking good, guys. We might not make top four here. This is horrible. Let's look for the league standings after this game right here. We have not done well. 60 points on us. We are seven points behind Man United. Uh, Manchester United, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Tottenham against Man United. Tottenham might pick off some points there. That was the chance, wasn't it? We could have been up at 62 points with one game in hand. Could have won that game up to 65. And then we could have relied on Spurs to get the win against United. But from now on, the league is not looking too good for us, guys. The top six finish might be something that we have to focus on to guarantee Europa League, at least, for our team. And uh, it's nice to see that Konrad Lima has returned from his injury. So that's a good plus. Uh, we do have a Jack Grealish. Where is he? Where is Grealish? Where's my man Grealish? There he is. Grealish is coming back into the team. That's beautiful. And then we obviously also do have um, Konrad Lima returning into the squad, which is a big plus as well because he's a big part of what we do. So we're going to bring him in back into the team. And then we're going to move Tosk Atwell back up there. Um, I have to say, I mean, maybe it's not his fault. I mean, he has 69 shooting. So the finesse shot from outside the box or the shots inside the box aren't uh, that bad but we definitely have to improve his shooting with Catwell um, uh, and the other one Watkins I don't know how he missed his chances doesn't make sense to me by the way what about this guy yesterday against Real Madrid Shakhtar Donetsk has won <laughs> with a 2-0 victory against Real I could not believe it man and Solomon has scored yet again against Real Madrid which was the main reason as to why we bought him into the team uh, sadly never grew into the player that we wanted him to be or felt like the player that we wanted him to be but he's done bits against Real Madrid. Got to give it to him. FA Cup semi-final, guys. We are stepping up against Chelsea. This is pretty much the final, if you ask me, because the other teams are no teams that are from the Premier League. So technically, after potentially winning this game, we would be the favorites to win the FA Cup as we had been last year. But last year, we bottled it against Watford. This year, I will not allow the same to happen. Uh, Chelsea is doing very well, obviously, this season, but... It is time for us to stop them. Sterling on the left-hand side looks very tired. Uh, on the left-hand side for us, basically. So Diaby is going to have a very fun time on that wing, especially in the second half. We're going to abuse that to our advantage. Aston Villa at the semi-finals of the FA Cup in the Wembley Stadium. This is the match to potentially get us closer and closer to a trophy, as close as we could get this year, I don't think there's going to be another game that's going to get us this close because 
Champions League semifinals, it's a tough one. But if we win this game, there is a 90% chance of us getting through into the finals and winning the finals as well. So this is a must win matchup. I know Grealish has returned into the team now, so that should help us out big time. Jack Grealish with his shooting ability, his passing ability should help us out. And uh, we should be able to hopefully win this game against Chelsea. But we haven't been able to score against uh, Liverpool despite all the chances. So in this match, chance creation and our conversion rate has to improve big time. Konza, nicely done. Konrad Leimer, big steal. Now, let's move it forward properly, please. Grealish with the 1-2. That's the ball. Ah, nearly pulled it off. The 1-2. We might have to double tap that one to lob it up a little bit more. Chelsea now with their own attack and they are getting stopped. Now we got to use Diaby to our advantage. Diaby, come on, mate. You can get in behind. We know it. Diaby's through. The pace of Diaby. The shot of Diaby. The goal of Diaby in the FA Cup semi-finals. Run over to the camera, son. Run over. Let me see you. Yes. Let's go. Come on. We're up. We are up and we have scored one with the left hand side of our team as expected sterling would not have enough pace or stamina to be able to cope with the pace of diaby and kepler is beaten far post shot from diaby perfect finish much better than the ones of watkins and Catwell in the last game so very very happy with that one by the way watkins will probably only play one half we need him for the game against uh, Liverpool in the Champions League semi-finals. Matty Cash. Oh, beautifully done. Here we go. It is us running through now with Ollie Watkins in the center waiting for a cross. Why does he cross it with his left game? Oh, my God. This game sometimes makes choices that I just can't understand. Senesi near post. That's the plan. Senesi near post. That's the plan. There he is. Oh, okay. Finally, we might have found the right player to go for headers on corners. Senesi moves in. Waits for the cross, jumps up, heads it, hits the post. We shoot again, we shoot again. Matty Cash, 2-0 up against Chelsea. Senesi has done it again. He's the one. Why did I not use him before? Why do I keep on trying to score with, uh, with Watkins on the crosses? It just doesn't work out. Focus on other players. Senesi jumps up, gets it, hits the post. And then Kepa makes an incredible save. But Matty Cash is there for the rebound. 2-0 up against Chelsea boys. FA Cup semi-final. We could get past. And if we do, there is a final that is going to be much easier than this. I can't wait. Ooh, good ball down the wing. 44th minute. 44th minute. Yes, Konza. Let's go, mate. Keep it up. Konza now pushing forward. He wants more out of this game. He probably wants an assist. And he might just get one. Oh, how is that a foul? Ref, get, get out, man. Just just leave the pitch. What the hell, man? You don't know what you're doing. That's not a foul. Chelsea might find a way to come back into this game if we allow them to score at least one goal here before the 75th minute. But the first half is done. We have done really well here. Very happy with the performance of the squad, especially finishing-wise. Um, we were um, quite optimal up front. We're going to bring on Vamangituka, who is now a 78-rated player. Let's go. That's nice to see. I want to keep most of the important players fit. So we're going to take off... I guess Anthony comes off. Madueke comes on. 78 as well now. And we're going to bring on Ferguson for Douglas Luiz because I do need him for the match in the Champions League. The centre-backs, not looking good for them when it comes to the Champions League game. They won't be ready. Madueke. Madueke is through. Matty Cash. Matty Cash with the through ball. Might be a little bit too late for the objective. Madueke hits it. Vamangituka picks it up. It is done. We are winning the Champions League. Not the Champions League. The freaking FA Cup semi-finals. We have scored with Silas in the first chance that they got subbed in. An amazing performance by the team. A complete different showing of uh, our own strength when it comes to how we did in finishing in the last game and how we're doing today. Silas with the finish on his left foot. Well done, mate. And that should be the game done. We're going to jump into, sim into the simulation now and watch the game play out like that. Extremely proud of the performance of the team. And we're going to go ultra defensive and just sit back and enjoy this win as much as we can. Uh, but yeah, very, very happy about the performance now uh, that we have had that weird game against Liverpool where we should have won it, man. We should have just won it, but it didn't really work out for us. So it is what it is. 
But in general, I will have to say that I'm looking forward to the next few months, uh, next few games that we have coming up now in the upcoming episodes where we will have to focus on winning every single Premier League game, first of all, to make it potentially back into the top four. And on top of it, we, of course, have to try and win the Champions League and the FA Cup final is coming up as well. So, so many things to chase for for Aston Villa in this season. I think if, if we can win two trophies this year when it comes to Champions League and FA Cup, oh boy, that is an incredible accomplishment with two top fours back to back for Aston Villa, establishing them as one of the top teams in the Premier League. Uh, that would be the goal to set out for myself. And if I actually pull that off, guys, I'm honestly thinking about going on to the next gen version of the game and starting the road to glory um, and um, basically finishing up the Aston Villa career mode that way. Uh, because I do want to get involved into the Road to Glory part of FIFA 21 because I do feel like it's going to be the best experience that you guys will have as viewers and probably the best experience that I will have as someone that is going to be playing the game because of the amount of growth, amount of um, development plans that you can use and how you can improve your team and all those things I'm looking forward to. But it only will happen if we do win the Champions League with Aston Villa, which is a big target of mine. I would love to make that happen. And uh, yeah, we're going to grind for it in the upcoming episodes. If we can pull it off, Road to Glory will be starting and the uh, double uploads will carry on. The double uploads will carry on, guys. Uh, that is what we're going to be doing in these in this month of December. Can we get another one? It is another one. Bamangituka has scored again. It's 4-0 despite the ultra defensive setup. We are actually doing really well here. Very happy with that one. And uh, the three substitutes seem to have a good impact on the game. Two goals from the bench. And the game is done. We're through into the finals of the FA Cup in the Wembley Stadium. This team is making me more and more proud as we move on. Bournemouth is our opponent in the finals of the FA Cup. That is what's going to be happening. <laughs> and take another. I think Bournemouth didn't go up, did they? Hold on, let me check. Are they actually in the Premier League? I don't think they are. I mean, we have the semi-finals of the Champions League coming up, which is obviously important enough to focus on. Bournemouth... No, they didn't make it up, so they are not in here. Uh, Bournemouth is a championship side that we'll be playing against now from our own experience in the past. Champions League sides, um, yeah, we do struggle against them in the FA Cup final. And uh, United against Tottenham, what's happened there? What happened in the game between them? Nothing yet. So if we win our game, we go up to 63 points and we'll be four points behind them with three games to go. Pooh, that's going to be a tough one. But if United lose against Tottenham, that's going to be a big dub for us. And then the upcoming month, United have... Who do they have? United have coming up Leeds United away from home. Okay, that could be maybe a draw. And then they have, what, no more games? What the hell? Why do they have no more games? How did that happen? There's one there. They need to have three in total. They have Tottenham and... Am I blind? I only see two games for United here. There's not 37 games played in a the season. There's 38. United plays against Tottenham and... Who else? Oh, we got to go up. There we go. Uh, Nottingham Forest. Ooh. That's a win. That's a definite win. Oh my God, man. We're not going to make it into the top four. We're not going to make it into it. So, I guess we will have to win the Champions League. <laughs> we have to win the Champions League, guys. I don't know if we can pull it off, but hey, I'm going to hope for it at least. Now, let's prepare the team for it uh, for the next episode. Look at this. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. We're struggling here for stamina. We're going to keep Grealish and the boys on, but we will have to sub them off. And as mentioned, the centre-back position we have to change right now. Now, Karejma, last time he played, did extremely well. So, I'm going to trust in him and Fuchs to getting it done. Um, luckily, the fullbacks are fully fit. Diaby and Anthony are fit enough. Watkins is fit enough. Grealish is struggling a little bit. So Grealish and Lima will probably have to be subbed off in the next game. But uh, I am confident. I am very confident in the fact that this team can get it done. And just, just in case, I'm going to put Melia in this goal, in this team as well. Just so I don't make the mistake of not playing him in the Champions League again. But... Can this team do it against Liverpool? I guess they can. I guess they can. But we did struggle against Liverpool in the last game. But it really only came down to chance conversion. We have to do better in front of goal. And hopefully with the addition of Grealish into the starting lineup over someone like Catwell, even though it's a stamina low um, Grealish, we can get that win for our team. I really, really hope we can pull that off. Anthony and Diaby both on an 84 rating, by the way. I think Anthony has grown just now, if I'm not mistaken. He might have just gone up now. 
And when you look at the schedule for the rest of the season, we have Liverpool. Then we have Newcastle in the league, which is a must-win game. Then we have Liverpool again. Then we have Man City again. And then it comes down to Everton, Southampton to finish off the season in the Premier League. And then it is the FA Cup final and potentially the Champions League final somewhere in there. If we can make it through, it would be a dream come true. So far against Liverpool in three games that we have played, a loss, a massive loss, 6-2, a win, 3-2, I think, or 3-1. And then now just a draw. Now we have to come up against them twice. My beloved Liverpool, please let me get past you. I beg you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me once again on this one. And yeah, the season finale is coming up thick and fast. And we got to get it done. We got to win everything that we can potentially win. Have a good one, guys. Take care and peace.